Hi there, uh, my name is Ross Hilderingpin. Um I am the face of the Ross Files. Um, making people laugh is something that I've always seemed to do. Um, I'd say it does come quite naturally. Um, I think the reason why this is is because I'm quite good at improvisation. Um, I don't particularly need a script, I just sort of get given the, the topic to talk about and it comes it comes out quite you know, quite naturally and it flows quite well. Um, and so I can, I can talk about anything as well. Um, the way I got into it was just, you know, um, just messing about with some friends at college. Um, one of my friends, he was doing a documentary which involved, you know, cameras and light and all that sort of stuff. And then so I was just sat there watching him do it as I, I, took, I did take quite an interest. And I just said to him after he'd finished recording, um, just leave the camera rolling and I'm going to try and do like a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a sketch sort of thing. Um, that just involved me getting up in front of a camera and just talking about my, my love life in sort of a sarcastic and funny manner. Um, we, we actually ended up getting about two minutes of, um, of footage in which we ended up getting about a minute long video out and uh, we decided to put it onto YouTube and see what people thought and people really seemed to like it and I think ever since then that's just how it started that was sort of the, the start of a snowball effect so to speak I didn't really pursue it as much as I do now um, obviously the first video was while I was at college so this was sort of you know um, beginning of the year type of thing um, and then the next time I actually did anything like this was around October time in university so obviously it's a, a decent few month gap um, again it was very much the same similar sort of thing the same friend funnily enough um, he was doing uh, you know a film and I did the same thing again just a bit of an update on my love life again in a sort of a sarcastic and funny manner um, but this time I sort of incorporated the fact that I come to uni and you know, it was a bit more of an update video and um, yeah, so then we sort of leaked, well, didn't leak it, but we re released it to people at uni. And they also seemed to like it. And we seemed to have a little bit more of a demand for it. So me and my friend, we decided to um, sort of make a weekly series out of it. And, you know, we, we sort of put a little bit of a teaser in at the, at the end of the second episode. Um, you know, saying uh, next episode out, out Friday. So that sort of gave people something to look forward to. And ever since then, it's just sort of... It's taken off really quite well, and then, you know the Ross files is going very strong at the minute. Um, we have started getting people on the shows for like guest appearances, so Bailey Poaching, for example, with his own series, and you know it is, it is more of an operation now, so to speak. But as it stands, it still is a really good thing to be a part of. You know, it makes you feel like you know you've got something to, to look forward to every week. Um, YouTube is a huge thing nowadays. You know, you've got your vloggers, you know, your PewDiePie, Zoella these people really have become very established in the YouTube world and because of this they have become established just in real life as well you know you, you've got them releasing books, merchandise, uh, even films for some people I think nowadays it's just so easy to sit down record a video and put it on the internet that that's it's such a wonderful thing um, you know that means that anyone can get involved um, no matter who you are no matter what your sort of your content would be or your personalities you know there's a market for everyone out there and I think that that's essential to keeping sort of YouTube and everyone else growing. Um, and for me, I think as, as far as it can, as far as I can see, um, the internet isn't slowing down at any point soon. And amen to that.